Hello everybody, it's that time again, yep, it's drama time. Today's video is about several dramas at Beautycon. Beautycon is being held in LA this weekend on August 10th and 11th. The first big drama is about Sierra Schultze who has a YouTube channel with over 800,000 followers. She was invited as a featured creator and despite having a bad experience last year, she decided to give them another shot. She paid to be glammed up because last year she felt like people didn't think she looked like an influencer enough, which is horrible. She went with her friend Skylar, who happens to be pregnant. The first hiccup was trying to get in as she waited 20 minutes after giving someone her ID and had a mini panic that they weren't going to come back. However, she said that they were actually lucky with that time because after them, the queue to get in got to one and a half hours and that the metal detectors broke, so Bretman Rock was actually late to his own meet and greet because they instead of getting new metal detectors, decided to just stop letting people in. They then headed to the photographer to get her photo taken, which was a problem last year because they wouldn't take her photo and looked her up and down. Well, basically, the exact same thing happened. The official photographer came over and said that it was for invited creators only, to which Sierra said she was and showed her wristband, of which she had the highest, and apparently the photographer gave her the longest unsubtle, look up and down, and then said it was for select creators. Just awful. And it's like, this is the photographer. She's like, I'm so, like, and she doesn't say I'm sorry. She's just like, this is for talent. And Skylar and I are both like, oh, I, I am talent. Like, I was invited. I show my little wristbands. She literally does the biggest, like, up and down pan of Sierra I've ever seen in my life. It was not like a, oh, do I know you? It was like a, let me see if you look like talent. I literally felt like I like wanted to fight her. Like I've never ever hurt someone in my entire life, but I was so mad. I wanted to be like, what are you doing? Like, that is so rude. I've never seen anyone look up and down someone like that. So she looks me up and down and then she goes, this is for select talent. As you can see from these pictures, I think she looked just beautiful. Sierra's manager then says that the queue to the pink carpet with a presser, which Sierra really wanted to get photographed and interviewed to grow her channel and spread her message, was massive. However, at this point they still haven't eaten and as Skylar is pregnant, that isn't very healthy for her. But, as the food was coming out at 2pm, there's no food and drink by 2.15. They get to the pink carpet and they announce the area over the speaker and she says only two people took photos of her before just stopping. She then goes to the interview area and everyone looks up at her from their phones and only one person interviews her and Sierra literally has to lie because they ask if she enjoyed Beautycon. Awkward. And like finally I do an interview and it was like awkward because they kept asking me like how's Beautycon? Isn't it just amazing? Are you having the best time? And I was just like yeah, like it's, it's great. And they were like, what's your favorite thing about the inclusivity at BeautyCon? And I was like, I love that they invite creators of like all like gender identities and looks and body sizes. Like, yeah, they invite us, but they treat us like absolute crap, like absolute crap. So Several other things go wrong, including what sound like just downright rude stuff, and they decide to leave. At this point, they still haven't eaten since breakfast or had any water, and Skylar is actually feeling faint, and it's just not safe, and they're fed up. And this really shocked me when I saw it, but they sit down to wait for the golf carts that are taking people to the front, and some people take their spaces and appear to laugh at them. I mean, it's just awful how they aren't both in f absolute floods of tears, I don't know. The whole thing sounds just horrible and it's a total credit to them that they could laugh when telling this whole story. The other influencer who didn't even get to Beautycon was Thomas Halbert who tweeted, Hi at Beautycon, is there a reason you told me on the phone that I had to apologise to the person who made fun of my eating disorder? Otherwise we both couldn't attend, yet he's still at your event. I mean, I am shocked by both of these stories. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. See you next time.